What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here since Sammy doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. All right, all right. Now I know you already know this just because of all the box mods that are behind me and all the times you see me. All the device I'm always using is always 3D printed. It's just, it is what it is. Now they are all rebels, not going to deny that. I don't think it's a secret to anybody as to how much I like 3D printed. A lot of people use the argument that there's no reason to spend the amount of money that you're going to spend on a 3D printed box mod just because it's plastic. I'm not going to get into that debacle. I'm really not. It's not an argument that I want to have to justify what the cost of a 3D printed box mod is. Yeah, someone on Wix and Calls had posted a picture of a lizard box mod. Never heard of the company. All I saw was something that looked like the Rebel and had stainless steel buttons and I automatically got a chubby. Laptop flew off the desk, jizzed everywhere, there was a mess, never cleaned it up, still there. First thing I wanted to do was find out who made this. And I found the company's Facebook page, contacted the owner, said, listen, I want to get on the list. I want to grab one of these for the purposes of a review. And just like how I approach everybody else, never, ever, ever, ever do I say to a company, listen, let me get this for free. No. I'll say to them, hey, how can I pick this item up? Or what usually happens when I contact a company and say, listen, I'll pay for this. I want to get this. I want to get this. I'd say 95% of the time, they'll say, no, don't worry about it. I'm going to send it anyway. And listen, I appreciate the gesture, but all in the same, I would pay for it just like I would the next device. There's absolutely no reason as to why I need to get anything for free on the house. However, if you do give it to me like Vicious Ant, oh my God. I can't thank them enough. If there's something that I want and I contact them, here you go, have it. Whoo, not gonna get emotional. I'm gonna be like a baby back bitch up in here. Anyway, back to the device we're talking about. This is a 3D printed Squonk box mod. I'm going to bring out some of its competitors box mods that are squonkers that have dna's in it so you can see the size of this box mod because honestly if i tell you the size you're not going to believe me you're going to think i'm lying obviously once you see the comparison of other devices you're going to realize i'm telling you the truth and i don't want to get into that i'm going to save that for when i bring it back on top all i'm going to tell you is this squonk box mod is going to knock your panties right off is what's gonna happen. This company is out of Italy. The box mod is manufactured in Italy. However, the chip, in fact, is a DNA which is manufactured in America. I already know that people are gonna say that DNA chips are being made in China. I can further validate that they are not made in China. I almost wanna say they're made in Ohio. I understand you've heard what you've heard, but listen, I heard about Jane down the street that likes to walk her dog at about 4 a.m. while holding a garbage can next to her. Her skirt is up to where her breasts are, and she has no panties on except for on her elbows. I heard that story. That doesn't mean that that story is true, unless, of course, I've seen it. You could also use the argument that Santa Claus is not real. I'm going to have to disagree because last Christmas, me and him both had cookies together. I might have been high on acid, but I definitely remember a fat old man with a beard eating cookies with me. I think that's the week I didn't shave. So without further ado, let's flip it. Right off the jump, there is no website that sells these. In order for you to buy this device, you may either contact the gentleman on Instagram or his Facebook page, which I will provide a link down below if you are interested in getting this. I do not believe it to be a listed item as it is just a kind of expensive item. Inside the box, what do we have? A lovely piece of paper that looks like it says Gratitude, which I believe is the cartoon. The Ratatouille, that's it. I have no idea where I got gratitude from. And then I think that says waffle down here on the bottom. I might say hope. That's probably Italian. I'm assuming this is from the maker of the company. And then on the flip side of that, Lizard Evolution. Simple enough. No manual will be needed for this device because it is a DNA. And that goes without question. Very, very easy to navigate once you've worked the DNA 75C. If you haven't before, I'm going to tell you right now, they actually have a very, very exclusive theme on this, which isn't difficult to navigate, but some of it's in a different language. I'm just going to tell you right now, the size of this box is probably one of the smallest box mods I've ever seen. And for it to be a squonk, 
is just the straight up win. Inside the box, we have a lovely Velveteer. Usually when you're talking high end, there's not really much of anything. This mod is in fact brand new, has never been used before. Before I get into this, how this works, all the functionalities of it, I wanna show you something. This is the Lizard Komodo V2. Now I'm gonna compare this to some popular and not so popular Squonk mods so you can kind of gauge the size factor. This is the Limo or Limo, and you can see that it's much, much shorter in height. It's much smaller in depth. Whether it's the depth, the width, or the height, it's smaller than that across the board. This is a DNA 60, this is a DNA 75C. For those of you who don't know, the 75C is a much, much bigger chip than the DNA 60 chip. This is the RSQ by Hotsync. Very readily available box mod. You can see the size difference. Smaller in height by a massive amount, probably about six millimeters. It is skinnier in depth, However, in width, it's a little bit longer. This also can accommodate a 25, as well as this can accommodate a 24. We will go over that. Then you have the E Petit DNA 60. Again, just the DNA, no squonk. You can see it's a little bit taller than that of the, what the hell is this thing called again? Komodo, the dragon, the lizard the Lizard Komodo. The E Petite is a little bit taller than the Komodo yet again. This is definitely gonna be deeper than the E Petite, but again, DNA 60, single 18650, no squonk. The Spade, one of the most amazing box mods I've ever used. The Spade is a little bit taller, no chip, unregulated. Lizard is a little bit shorter in height. It's skinnier in width, but in depth, it's that much larger. Again, this houses a chip. This is regulated. This is not. I'm just going to link to the spade because this is, I'm not even going to get into this thing. Absolutely phenomenal mech mod. There's no question. Final comparison is going to be the snitch, which I love the snitch. The snitch, the thug, Charles is a great fucking dude, runs a great group. I also have the squeeze. I have all of his stuff except for the limited edition D. You're going to see that this is much shorter in height, houses the same exact chip, very much different in height. This utilizes an 18650 as does this. Doors are a little bit different. So comparing the two, you'll see that they're about the same in depth, about the same in width. However, the height is that much shorter. So the Lizard is the smallest out of all these devices here. Some of these other Squonk mods I showed you are able to house a bigger bottle. This is gonna be very, very limited to a certain size just because of the height of this mod. In my mind, the way that I look at it is you kind of make up one for the other. 25 millimeter, looking at the top of it, looks kind of flush and when you're looking down the side it doesn't give you an overhang however just because the way that this is curved on the edges it does kind of give you the appearance that there is overhang you will get away with using a 24 on this however i feel that this device being this small is going to be utilized best with a 22 millimeter something like a hobo 3.1 that's what i'm talking about making money lizard on the side there they're kind of staple a port for your battery and the reason why that port is there is not just just for aesthetic reasons so you can see it, but it's a way to get your battery out once it's in. It does kind of give it a little bit of an accent ring being on the side. There should be no question at all about battery venting. Notch right here. I had asked the owner if this was some type of alumide because if you're looking inside the plastic, there appears to be little metal pieces, which gives the appearance that it's alumide because it doesn't look like any of the other black 3D printed mods I have. It's very much different. And it's not bad. I feel that silver will look the best on it. Now you get into the front faceplate, which is what I like. Looking at these three buttons, they appear to be off-center, but they're not. It's the exact amount of spacing between the right side and the left side to the edge of the mod to the center. The micro USB is what's off a little bit by about one and a half millimeters to the left. If I did get a screwdriver in there and move that, I could line that up a little bit better. I'm just not so interested in it. Very, very superficial. I've never seen a 3D printed box mod that have stainless steel buttons and I think that's what makes this super sexy. As much as someone might argue and say it'd be better if it was seamless, I like how these seams are very very uniform. Not a fan of the squonk bottle that's in there. One thing that kind of throws me off with this mod are these two screws. I understand the idea behind it is to latch in they just really awkward appearance to the rest of the fluidity of the mod. If there were little plugs for these little ports would make it that much better. Those fingerprints are mine of course. The squonk bottle that comes in there is going to be a mod maker squonk bottle. Very 
very, very typical bottle used to seeing in high-end box mods. Lost Vape is gonna be entirely too large, so that's definitely not an option. Your Cappy, if you're willing to butcher the shit out of your Cappy, you can use a Cappy in this. Because the port here is so small, you risk the chance of possibly leaking, and the way that their contact is built, I really wouldn't modify that in any way. Lucos, absolutely no problems whatsoever. D bottles are gonna be no problem whatsoever as well. If you really wanted to, you can use the really, really large Cappy bottles. I haven't found a mod that I could use this in, but what you would need to do is, I'm just gonna give you an example. It's gonna be very difficult to get anything custom inside of there because it is a really, really small box. I've never been so thoroughly impressed with 3D print. Even look at the inside, the contact. It's not even key stuff. Everything is just so pretty with this. Look at the size of the spacing right here for the DNA 75C behind there. I like to use clear bottles for clear liquid and dark bottles for dark liquid. There's not enough of contact pin. Should be a little bit longer. On the door itself, there's these massive friggin' penny. Those magnets are the size of two dimes. I mean, absolutely massive. Go in like that, and it's just gonna snap in and it's magnetized so you have kind of a double securing action going on there looks just super super clean and you could spin the battery so you don't have to worry about the way that that looks this is the screen you're going to be presented with when you put the battery in to turn it on you're going to do five clicks one two three four five there it is no atomizer you cycle through this just like you would normally with any other device watts canthal nichrome stainless steel do you see the language barrier It's not a bad menu. It's nothing like that wows me. You have all your different metals here, your battery percentage, that is gonna be your battery bar there, wattage in the center, lock your resistance, your settings. Again, you get back into it being a totally different language. I mean, you can kind of guess what it says, system, and then it's not horrible. I assume that's their wizard right there, that little guy. Kind of looks like a shark or something. I'm going to keep this theme. I'm going to save this theme, but I am going to put my own theme on this just because there is a certain theme that I like to run on my mods. As much as I would like to modify this to where I can see the hit count, it's a little bit not my style of menu. I will bring this back and show you my menu once I put it on. So I took the theme that was off of this just to put my own theme on it, just so it was a little bit easier to understand and for me to navigate. And as you can see up here, this is the screen that I use on all my DNAs, every single one. Once again, this is the Lizard 3D printed DNA 75C, smallest box mod I've ever seen. That comes with a squonk, whoa, just absolutely whoa. All right there, pickle pants, back on the top with the Lizard Komodo and the Comet 22 sitting on the top of that looking super, super sexy. Okay, let's go over this. 0.83 build at 44.5 watts. Not really much of a point of showing vapor production just because it really has nothing to do with the mod. Well, it does in a sense of how it ramps up and how hard it hits those watts. But all in the same, I know you want to see vapor production. I know I do. I did a review on the Comet 22, and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And now I'm just reminded more of it when I vape it. The amount of airflow, the amount of flavor you're getting off this is perfection. This is the smallest squonk 3D printed box mod that I own. It's actually the smallest squonker that I own. There's not even a metal box that I have that's this small. Now I do have some mechs. The, the Punk V2 right off the top of my head is smaller. The Franken Skull is smaller, but those aren't regulated. And to see something of this caliber, of this size, blows my friggin' mind. I can tell you from this point on, if you're ever gonna see me squawking, it's going to be this device. I liked the Rebel a lot. I mean, this thing I've been using so entirely too much. I have 1,890 hits on this mod alone today. But this blows that out of the water. There are a couple flaws with this. Let me show you what I'm working with. First off, 
the cutout of the battery. I know people are going to think that's a negative, but the way that I look at it is weight reduction. Just like when you're racing your car, every pound counts. Well, in this case, every gram or microgram counts. It makes it that much cooler. No, it really doesn't matter because it's 3D printed and it's such a small slice, it's not that big of a deal. But what that does is kind of serves as dual purpose. If your mod is getting too hot, that's going to vent the battery properly. Not like vent like explode vent, just vent and cool down. Also, because there's no ribbon to pop that out, you just pop the door, you can even do it with the door on. Like you see right now, the door's on. No, you can't. No, you can't. Can't do it, won't do it. Yeah, so it just kind of serves as a dual purpose, venting and popping the battery off. The menu that was on this stock was a little bit difficult for me to read, and I feel that's because of it being Italian, it just makes sense for that menu to be in Italian. It's cool that they did a different theme. A lot of mods that are coming out that people are putting DNA 75s and DNA 6s in, there's no custom theme. It's just the stock theme from Evolve. Rebel's been known to do that. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing. It's just cool that when you make something unique that's unique to that mod, makes it super sexy. Granted, you could use the argument that I took it off and I'm using my own theme. Yes, I am. Just because it's easier for me to go through the menu and I just know what works. And I like that on all my DNAs. I really, really like the way that the battery is. Once you take the door off and it's held on by two massive magnets, it's very, very easy to take this battery out. The door, you kind of have to feel around for the notch, but once you want to get that battery out, it just, you just push out with your finger. And I love that. If you have stickers all over your battery, you may not like that feature as much as I do, just because you're gonna have to spin the battery around. And if you don't actually like to see your battery like you would in a double barrel, I don't know if you're gonna like this. The screws on the front, to me, are kind of a fallback. This thing is gorgeous as it is. I mean, with the Comet sitting on top of that, the stainless steel buttons, I don't think anybody can debate the fact of how pretty this mod is. There's no words for how beautiful this mod is. There really isn't. But what happens is those screws on the front faceplate really detract from the beauty. Also, I understand it's their motto, I understand it's their logo, their icon, whatever, their brand. It's lizard, so it has this big ass lizard on the side of it. I would really like a custom door, but guess what? That's not on the door, that's on the mod itself. So you kind of have to like lizards. If you're a big lizard collector, like reptiles, amphibians, dinosaurs, birds, bird is a reptile, that's a fact, Jack. Caterpillars, mooses, tacos, maybe even Ferraris, you're gonna like this. Well, Ferraris make sense, because that's Italian. Tacos, I don't feel come from Italy. I don't even think that there's gonna be a taco that you're gonna find in Italy, just because it's kind of on the other side of the world. But then again, I guess you could use the argument that you won't find any chicken parmesan or any calamar. You find all of those in restaurants local. I promise you this. Those are the only two fallbacks I have. I prefer 24, 25 over 22, but I do like 22s just in the same. The problem with 24s is they work, but they have that little, like a quarter of a millimeter of an overhang just because of the edges of this box mod. And 25s give you an overhang when you're looking at it, but when you're looking at it down, you're not gonna see any overhang. There's no doubt in my mind, this is the best squonking 3D printed box mod I've ever used. It's even the best 3D printed box mod I've ever used. So that's taking two very large categories and slimming it down to one. I almost would use this if there was no squonk bottle in it. It would be a little awkward to have a squonk mod with no squonk bottle in it, but it's that good. If I was to rate this mod on a zero to 10, I'm gonna give this the easiest, easiest nine that I've ever given. I even prefer this mod over the vape droid. Granted, they are different mods. The vape droid is PMMA or Ultim. It's not 3D printed. It's got a different theme on it. There's a lot of different things between that and the vape droid. I'm just telling you right now, without a doubt in my mind, this is my favorite mod to date. Now that may change in five minutes, but as of right now, it's my favorite. I feel the lizard is what would stop me from not using this all the time. It's just the mod is so compact. It's a DNA 75 and it's small and it's a nine volt cutoff. Single battery, nine volt cutoff. That's real. People use the argument all the time as, you know, this mod, this mod does 8.5 volt cutoff, but it's running three 2700s. Why? Why do you have a DNA 75 that's doing a nine volt cutoff with a single battery? That's what we call effective. That's what we call works. 
and this just works. I'm telling you right now, there's not a better Squonk mod at all on the market right now. No doubt about it. This is it. Oh, here, right? oh. <laughs> first time here. You can just leave right there. No shit. <laughs> I didn't know you were from here. Do I know you? No, no, I know you. Oh, you know me? Yeah. How do you know me? YouTube. You don't know? I don't do YouTube. Yes, you do. Nah, I don't. <laughs> I, show I don't know you. what, I don't know what I you're talking about. I always follow. Like when they come with the new stuff, like uh... You I seriously always... know me from YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You vape or no? Oh, yeah, yeah, so that's... <laughs> well, I'll get up and I'll shake your hand then. How you doing, man? Good, good, oh, good. Right, right. <laughs> you just used these things? What are you talking about? Yeah, it was, it's all yeah. shot. Yeah, 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 it's all good. Oh. It's all good. That was not expected. The Pepsi guy apparently vapes, and he didn't know that I worked here, so it was, it kind of felt good. It felt good. It did. Keeping it real. Honestly, could tell you there's a lot of 3D printed situations that I own, from squonkers to dual battery, triple battery, single battery. I will tell you this, on the daily, I'm using this Rebel. This is a different feel of a 3D print than this is. The Ally is more smooth, this is more pitted. That's not saying it's bad because what happens with 3D printed is the more you use it, yes, it will fade. However, it gets smoother the more you use it. Doesn't look cleaner unless it's like a PA-12. Take everything you have, everything you love, everything you need in life, magnify that by two, and I swear on all of that, if this had little plugs that went over the screws or the screws were hidden, and the lizard was off the side of this, I would undoubtedly give this a 10. There is no doubt in my mind. A 10. It's not a 10 right now. Oh, Bo! Oh, he's right near the 10. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Close, but I'm not. It's that good. I don't think an argument of the price point is anything that's gonna hold water. Some people will debate that 3D printed mods aren't worth more than $20. Okay, then that's fine. If that's the way you feel, that's the way that you feel. If this wasn't an option to buy, I would trade two vape droids to get this device. We're getting crazy here, make it a 2700. But I vape at like three watts anyway. You know how long an 18650 lasts you at three watts? 39 days. Can you imagine vaping at three watts? There's not even many mods out there that do three watts. Does this do three watts? So of course this wouldn't be natural if I didn't vape at this. One watt. It's almost gonna look like I'm not vaping. But let's give it a try. One watt. I'm gonna use all 10 seconds like a beast. Okay, I can't do a watt, cause nothing's happening. <laughs> I don't even think this is heating up. Oh, duh. Let me go to five. Five watts. I might be able to get some vape out of this. Here we go. Just forget it. I'm gonna build a three ohm coil and I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna use that motherfucker till the coils light up, which is gonna take about 45 days. 9.5. Maybe even a 9.8. Taking points away because the screws on the front are even worth it. Because it's not that bad. It's definitely noticeable if we're just trying to find things that are wrong with this. I don't like the lizard at all. I am not scared of lizards. I, I can't even say I've ever seen a lizard in real life. I'm in Jersey. If there's ever a lizard, something's wrong. Either you had lizards that got loose at your house. There's no lizard farms. That's not a fucking thing. A farm is not the right word. <laughs> that would be the worst meal ever. You get, think about how much meat is on a lizard. Yeah, we're, we're done here. I actually like this lighting. For some reason, I look very angelic. I never thought that there would be a time that I would prefer another 3D printed box mod that wasn't Rebel. 
And I'm not saying that because I like Alex. We know that I've ripped him apart. Shoot the shit, we're cool, I give him ideas, whatever. He sends me box mods. It's a reciprocated situation. Here is the Kronos DNA 60. Super small, right? The DNA 75 is even smaller. DNA 60, DNA 75. Super tiny, super lightweight. This is lightweight too. This is also like six beans. But to take the battery out is a mission. Like you have to drive around the block five times, call your mom on the phone, tell her that you love her. And if you don't tell her that you love her and you forget to hang up the phone without saying any kind of condolences, hey, mom, I'm going shopping at ShopRite to pick up Twinkies, then you're gonna forget the screwdriver. This is instrumental in taking this apart. This, you just pop a door. Yeah, I got nothing. I got, I literally have got nothing for you. <laughs> Start beatboxing. <laughs> One thing important to mention, don't know what I just did with my hands, but um, the door on this is not what I wanted to bring up. It has nothing to do with the door. Inside here, it smells like apples. Like a, like a delicious apple Jolly Rancher. Not the mod, something smells like, okay. The attention span of a fucking ferret. You can't really see inside here, but as small as this panel is right here, it's sealed. So if this juice was to leak, it, DNAs themselves have like a thing over it so they could get wet and it doesn't really hurt them. But listen, no one wants a sticky board. This is gonna stop or alleviate a lot of what you're gonna see in most squonk mods like that tugboat shit where the chip is, hey! That's the guy with the paper bag on his head, wearing a G-string, running down the street with the Big Mac in his mouth and french fries in his asshole. That's what that is. <laughs> that chip is the streaker. You know what I mean? That's the guy that you don't want to say is your friend. That's the guy you don't bring to the bar. This is the guy or the chick, depending on what your demographic is, Nope. Okay. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay Hazel.